Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a simple Gantt chart. So this is how the Gantt chart looks like. On the left hand side we can see the list of the tasks, while on the top we see the time frame. Each bar corresponds to each task. The beginning of each bar shows the start date of that task. The end of each bar represents the end date of that task. And that's pretty simple. Ok so now let's move on to Excel and see how we can make a Gantt chart in Excel. So here is an example of Gantt chart which I have already made but I will reconstruct it from the scratch so you can understand how to make a Gantt chart in Excel. So I will copy this data and paste it. I'm going to remove it but I will show you how to work this out. Ok so to make the Gantt chart you need the list of the tasks for example in this case we have task 1 all the way up to task 7. Then you need a start date for each task and of course an end date for each task. And that's all the information that you need. The only thing you will have to work out is the duration of each task. And that is pretty simple. All you have to do is type equal, then click on end date, then minus, start date, and then enter. 11 days. So task 1 will complete in 11 days. Similarly, we will find the duration for uh, each of the other tasks. To save time, just click here and then drag it down and you get the duration for all the tasks. Ok, now we have everything that we need to make our Gantt chart. To start making the Gantt chart, click on Insert. Then click on Insert Column or Bar Chart. Then click on 2D Stack Bar. But that is an empty graph, so we need the data for this graph. So first we can make its size slightly bigger. To enter the data, all you have to do is just uh, right click, then select data. So here we have to enter the data series. So we're going to use only two series, start date and duration. Ok, so we enter the data of the first series, that will be the start date. So we click on add, then we go to series value. We select all the start dates column and then click OK. Next we have to add the duration column. So again click on add, then go to series and select all the duration series. Then click OK and finally we have to enter the task details. For that click edit on the right side, then select all the tasks from task 1 all the way to task 7 and then click OK and then click OK. The next thing we need to do is get rid of this unnecessary blue bar. So click on this blue bar that will select all the blue bars. Then right click, then click on format data series, then click on fill, then click no fill and close it. So you will get rid of that unnecessary part. And that's it, your Gantt chart is ready. But a few things you need to do to make it look perfect. So one of the first things you need to do is to change the order of the task. So if you look here, the tasks are in the reverse order. The task 1 is at the bottom and the task 7 is at the top. To reverse it, double click, then click categories in reverse order. Ok, so the tasks are now in the right order from task 1 all the way to task 7. Ok, so the next thing you can do is get rid of this gap in the beginning. So this is the earliest start date and that was here which is uh, 3rd of October. So let's say we start our chart from 1st of October. So you write here 1st of October 22 then click on it and go here and convert the date into number format. Then copy this then select the date axis and double click and remove this minimum value and paste this value which is equal to 1st of October and then click enter. So you get rid of that space and your graph is now starting from 1st of October. Similarly if you want you can get rid of this space at the end. The other thing you can do is uh, make the chart look a bit more beautiful and for that click on the bars that will select all the bars then go on format then go here in the shape style and choose any style you like. For example I choose this one. Similarly, you can change the font size. For example, I will make it slightly bigger and maybe I will make it uh, bold to just to make it stand out. And if I double click on the date axis and then on the number, so here you can choose the date format in the type. For example, I will choose this one because it's smaller. And if you want, you can type the title of the chart. 
and change its font. And that's it, your Gantt chart is finally ready. I hope you find this video useful. If you like it, please don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Thank you very much.